The other thing is it's been a charity. Um, money is always at the forefront for us, um, and as you'll, you'll be aware, for the last four years, um, the whole world financially um, has been suffering. Um, and obviously there's a huge impact on the charity sector around that. So our L&D budget, like everybody's L&D budget, got a bit of a hammering, I think is the best way to describe it. Um, so we thought, well, we still need to treat people, it's absolutely crucial, you know, we know that, because Stevenson says it, that was from 42 years ago, it's the worst thing we can't drop. How are we going to actually deliver that same treatment in a much more flexible way um, that's going to cost less? And it's a real conundrum for us. But what's happened is, we have, within that four years, we have really dramatically changed how we do things. And a lot of that is actually down to a partnership with Orion. Um, what we've done is, is we, we still run training courses and conferences, as you see from the new box down here. Uh, you know, it's something that we still have to do for those instances we really want to change people's behaviours. Uh, but a lot of the stuff we do is about knowledge. Um, there's quite a lot of compliance training. Um, we were talking earlier this morning about health and safety. A huge thing for us, we've got over 35 health and safety training courses that people mainly have to do uh, to be compliant. So how, you know, how do you do that? And people, we've discovered that people don't actually need to come and be together to do that. It's about knowledge, it's changing what's in here, rather than necessarily the behaviours. So we started to think, well, why do we not just provide this online? Um, and that's really where the, the real partnership with the Maureen and the, the guys came in. So we've now got a suite of e-learning. I don't know, maybe, I don't know, maybe the eight or nine courses are growing. Um, and a whole range of subjects. Um, I mentioned health and safety, equality, diversity, induction is just about to come on. Um, the things like behaviour support, which is um, how we de-escalate behaviours um, in our children and young people. And a, you know, a lot of policy training. We introduced a new, um, what we call pass it on, which is effectively team brief. So anytime we now introduce something and there's a knowledge input, we go to e-learning because what we've discovered is we can actually reach more people quickly um, and it's much more cost effective for us. Um, and the other thing is for us is that you know, people can do it anywhere, they can really do it at any time. So for those people who do only work two hours a week with us, they can go on and do a bit of e-learning. Um, they can maybe do it for half an hour and then they'll come back in next week and do another half an hour. And by the end of the month they've completed their training course. So it's, it's really useful for us.